everybody, welcome to the Walk Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is an Amazon haul. You guys, if this pandemic does not end soon, I'm going to be so broke. So I just placed an Amazon order about a week ago for some things to liven it up because we are stir crazy since we're stuck at home. I ordered quite a few books because our library is closed and there were some that we had just been depending on the library for um, that we just needed to own because we checked them out all the time. And then I also got us a handful of games to kind of help with the doldrums. And I got Emily one kind of large activity thing because, well, she needs something to do because she's driving me crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the books. The first books that I got are the Daisy Dreamer collection. This is collection number two. Emily got collection number one for Easter and she has blown through them. So I went ahead and got her collection two, which is numbers five through eight. These books, in case you didn't see my Easter video, are absolutely adorable. Um, they have cute little pictures. The text isn't crazy. Um, if you have a kid that likes make-believe type things, they will love this. And it's a really, really good, um, like, kind of first reading chapter book. All right. I got the Lonely Planet Kids Myths and Legends from around the world. This is separated by continent. It has gorgeous illustrations. Actually, all the books I got have gorgeous illustrations. Um, and it's just myths and legends from around the world. Now, there is the creation of the world in here for Africa. I will go ahead and say that. Um, so if you, if that's something you're not interested in, you may not like this book. But I really loved that it was separated by um, kind of geographically, like by continent. And then it had tons of different myths and legends. So we will be reading through this one. When we were riding traveling the parks, and Emily was helping me with animals. We realized that we did not have enough animal encyclopedia type books. We have a ton, but we didn't have enough, according to Emily. So I went ahead and grabbed her the Lonely Kids Planet, the animal book. We love all of the books like this from them. We have the travel one, the cities one. Um, I think there's like a flag one. And we I don't know why we didn't own the animal one. Probably because I thought we had enough animal books already. Of course, I should have known better. Emily is my daughter. And she's obsessed with animals. This too is separated by continent, so you can look the animal up based off of where they live. And it just has just enough information about each animal. It's really, really great. Also, we found that this was one of the few books that actually included a lot of the animals in Traveling the Parks. So, if you want something in addition to the animal profiles, this is the animal book I would suggest getting. Okay, you guys are probably going to faint that I don't already own these or I didn't already own these, but I check them out from the library all the time and it was finally time to just buy them and be done with it. And that is the Big Book of series. So these are just some that honestly, if I'm, you guys, I have a thing, like, they don't fit on my shelf. That's really the only reason I've never bought these. And the idea of putting them sideways makes me want to cringe. So my husband's going to have to install a shelf for me. Um, that they can sit on like this and that's the only reason I hadn't bought them It's just because they're too big. It's not because we don't love the books because we absolutely do. They are stunning And they have these like little small snippets of information Which is perfect for homeschooling and they're even better for strewing. So we have the big book of beast The big book of bugs The big book of the blue the Big Book of Birds, and of course I went ahead and pre-ordered the Big Book of Blooms, which should be here hopefully in the next few days. And of course, as I was looking up all of those animal books, I stumbled upon the Atlas of Animal Adventures. This has been another one that I knew we would probably love, but seriously, I mean, it is huge, like huge. It's even bigger than the Big Book Of's. I mean, it's gorgeous, but it's huge. So if you don't like big books, you won't like this. If you love big books, then you will love this. The illustrations are fabulous. It is separated by continent as well. And it just has like the perfect amount. It tells you where the animal is from. And there's like little tiny snippets all over with facts about them. I mean, seriously, you guys. So this is a collection of nature's most unmissable events, epic migrations, and extraordinary behaviors. 
And then the minute that one came in and I realized how absolutely I'm running out of room, how absolutely gorgeous it is, I turned around and got back on Amazon and ordered the Atlas of Ocean Adventures, which is the wonderful sea creatures, habitats, and unmissable underwater events and then the atlas of dinosaur adventures so that one obviously is step into prehistory world a prehistoric world for an adventure with the history's most amazing dinosaurs and remarkable reptiles again gorgeous okay the next thing i'm going to show you guys is games so one of the ones making a lot of noise that i picked up was the traditional guess who game now we have a guess who game but it was not this type of guess who and i ordered a thing off of teachers pay teachers i will link it down below for you guys that is printable math for this specific guess who board so that's why i went ahead and bought this one plus it was only ten dollars and the teachers pay teachers file wasn't that much either so combined i think i have like 10 math games now it was like 20 bucks total for this and the printable pack so I have like 10 guess who math games now for less than $20. So it was well worth it in my opinion. And it's one that the games will grow with us because there was like multiplication and stuff. So I was really thrilled with that purchase. And then somehow or another, I fell down a junior learning dominoes hole. Actually, I know how a really good friend of mine kind of thrusted me down the hole, but that's okay. And I ended up buying all of them, at least all of the math ones that applied to us because they were just so good. But I didn't buy them all at first. I bought the place value one and we played it the other day. And you guys, the quality of the dominoes blew me away. So they're plastic, but they're such amazing quality and they're so pretty for a domino. And the different representations were so well done. that I immediately got back on and ordered the rest. So we also have addition dominoes, multiplication dominoes, fraction dominoes, time dominoes, subtraction, and then we also have shapes. Now I will be honest, I wasn't sure I was going to buy shapes at first because I thought, oh, Emily knows her shapes. But let me show you guys. This isn't just like your standard shape. It has some serious, do I have that the right side? No, let me show it to you, not upside down. It has some, you know, serious information on each of these. And some of the shapes are not just your standard like circle, square kinds of things. So I think even if your child probably knows shapes, like the standard shapes, you could still find use in this set as well. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna show you is the big thing that I got for Emily. As soon as I get these dominoes out of my lap. Ooh, sorry, you guys. And, all right, you guys, don't judge. Just please don't judge. We got her the Heartland Lego Hotel. No, we do not normally buy something this big um, in between Christmas and birthday for her. However, she has handled this pandemic like a pro, well, as best as she can. And she really, really has gotten really into Lego. She's been loving her Lego class that she's taking every week. And she just kind of needed something else, something else to keep her busy, something to keep her occupied. And um, this is being, this particular model is being discontinued on Lego and Emily had been saving up for it for like three or four months now. And she was about halfway there. And I was so scared that it was gonna go completely out of stock that I just went ahead and put the other half with it and got it for her. So this is probably going to be school this coming week. And we're gonna call it good. You guys, I just did a film in that video, no joke, 15 minutes later. UPS knocked on my door and had another box for me. So we're gonna add on to that. I also just got Emily the Critter Club set. It's books one, two, three, and four, in case you want to see what it looks like. Again, it is like cute little pictures. The text isn't too crazy. And then I also grabbed, I haven't, she grabbed the first book of that and ran away with it. I also got her the Ada Lace collection, the Adventures collection. It's books one, two, three, and four as well. 
And these will probably be shared books because there's not as many pictures in them. Um, there are some, and she could totally read them by herself, but we'll probably do these as shared reading. Okay, now that's it, unless FedEx comes.